Hello everybody and welcome to another Spotlight video. Today we're going to be looking at the GDI Mammoth Tank deck. So the basic Mammoth Tank deck is the one on your screen here. This is Mammoth Tank with War Factory and Barracks. The reason to play Barracks is to keep your costs down whilst you are defending your double harvester for your Mammoth Tank. Uh, the reason to play Air Tower is effectively, it's a simple case of you want to stop tanks harassing your harvester. So you don't want to defend your harvester with units that tanks are good versus things like Giga Cannon, Tank, MLRS. If your opponent, basically things that kill harvester quickly, you want those to be bad against the units you're defending with. Air Tower gives you the best options for these. Uh, the other variants of Air Tower are swap the Mohawk for the Orca and swap the Drone Swarm for the Talon. As you can see here, these are different variants. Okay, so some slightly different variants on the deck that are significantly different are the War Factory Mammoth deck. The advantage of the War Factory Mammoth deck is Slingshot is a much more powerful anti-air unit uh, and Predator is a much more powerful anti-ground unit. But this deck is significantly weaker because, in my opinion, because uh, it loses to the things that kill Harvester. So once you get pushed back, you are then going to really struggle to defend your harvesters with these units. Uh, the final variant is the Dog Sniper deck. This is effectively just a 5 card deck that also plays Mammoth Tank. This one is much better choice if you're looking to be able to play some games without 2 Harvester and Mammoth Tank because this deck will function bef this deck will function pretty well until you get the Mammoth out whereas the other 2 decks are really just looking to stall until the Mammoth comes out. This one can actually play a game and never make the Mammoth Tank and still win. Um, the options for Commander for this uh, for Mammoth Tank deck are Liang and Jackson. They're the only ones worth considering in my opinion. Um, a lot of people think that Liang is the best Mammoth Commander. I personally think it's Jackson and uh, I'll explain to you why. The reason I prefer Jackson is that Mammoth Tank decks are usually simply looking to survive until Mammoth Tank comes out. And when Mammoth Tank comes out, they need their Mammoth Tank to win the game immediately. Jackson Boost makes you much, much more likely for your Mammoth Tank to get two pads and control them before the game ends, when the Mammoth Tank does finally come out. Um, and if you, if you protect your Mammoth Tank properly, you shouldn't need a Liang Drone to keep it alive. Like, the first Mammoth Tank should simply end the game, so you shouldn't need a Liang Drone to, uh, to preserve it whilst it's, it's doing its thing. Um, I will say also my favourite variant is still the top one. I believe the Hammerhead is a better support unit for the Mammoth Tank than the Slingshot. And that's just because the Hammerhead is much more mobile. And that's really what you want with the Mammoth Tank, is you want your support units to follow it around. And to, you know, to, to let you pressure your opponent's harvesters and base. So, uh, that's my favourite variant of the Mammoth Tank. Let's take a little second to talk about what the Mammoth Tank is strong against and what it's weak against. So... The Mammoth Tank is basically just strong versus all of Tier 1 and most of Tier 2. So this is basically War Factory. It's strong versus War Factory and it's strong versus Barracks. Um, it's obviously less strong against Air Tower, but you have Hammerhead or Slingshot in the deck, which will dominate the Air Tower. So essentially the Mammoth Tank deck is just good versus lower tier decks. Um... The things it's weak to, however, the big weaknesses of the Mammoth Tank deck are the Chemical Warrior Jade combination. This is very, very difficult to defeat. Uh, Chemical Warriors are so strong in the early game, especially when combined with bikes for anti-air. You're very unlikely to be able to win the first missile with a regular Mammoth Tank deck, especially if you have two Harvesters, which you will have to make if you want to realistically make your Mammoth Tank. Um, so you're going to lose the first missile and then they'll just Jade Bomb your base and you'll lose so this is definitely one of the biggest weaknesses. Uh, second weakness is the Basilisk and Kodiak. Uh, these are just tech units that your Mammoth Tank is not strong against. So you really need to make sure your anti-air takes care of these. This is another reason I like the Hammerhead. I think the Hammerhead will take care of these a lot easier than the Slingshot will. And the final weakness of the Mammoth Tank deck is simply time. Uh, you will lose, most games you lose with Mammoth Tank deck will simply be the games where you die before Mammoth comes out and takes over the game. So really what you're trying to do with a Mammoth Tank deck is make two Harvesters early and then stall the first missile for as long as possible. You'll almost always lose it still because you have two Harvesters, don't worry about that. Because you should be able to make the Mammoth Tank sooner after the start of the second missile. 
and then take over the game with the Mammoth Tank. Alright, so now we've talked about the Mammoth Tank deck, let's play some games with it. Establishing battlefield control. Alright, here we go, Gaza. First game with the Mammoth Tank. So we're going to open Harvester and then we're going to go Rifles to Scout, see if we're getting rushed. And also then we have a unit to help us uh, contest pads to stall the game out. Alright, so he has missiles going for a Harvester. We intercept those pretty easily. We're not going to make another unit here because he opened missiles. We already have these rifles, it's fine. We can go straight into second Harvester. Sometimes if there was a unit nearby I'd swap these over to make sure that he couldn't claim the tile. But we don't need to because we're not in any danger of that happening. The opponent is not charging the pads, that's ideal for us. We basically are very happy every time this is stalled. That's great for us. We also have two harvesters, he has one. So we're very happy with how this is going currently. Alright, so he has gone double harvester now. So at this point you have to decide, is my Mammoth Tank going to beat his tech? Um, generally speaking, I think Mammoth Tank plus Hammerhead will beat most tech units. So I'm pretty safe just to uh, just to go straight into Mammoth Tank here. His tech will come out before mine, which is another reason not to not to charge pads. We want the game to be stalled out a little bit. Because like I say, his tech's going to come out first, but mine should be higher impact. Alright, so he's using Shock Troopers to kill our Harvester. That's obviously going to do nothing. We'll build the Helipad before we build the, uh, the tech lab to get the reduction in cost. And because we're definitely going to need Hammerhead at some point, one would imagine. And we get Mammoth Tank. Okay, so we've got Mammoth Tank at 1 minute 20. That's pretty good. So we're going to use the Mammoth Tank to go after his pads. Once we've secured the pads, we'll go for the harvesters. So Mammoth secures the pads very easily. There's a Titan. Alright, we need to move this harvester to dodge the double shot. Titan is not good for me. Titan is pretty good against Mammoth. Obviously, we're in reasonable shape. We have Mohawks to support the Mammoth, so we should be okay. And also, we have more money than him. So yeah, we, we and also, like, obviously the Mammoth tank is level 12 to his level 8 Titan, which sucks for him, but that's the way it goes. So we killed all his harvesters. He's killing our harvesters as well. We should save this one. He goes for an iron cannon that's going to miss. Yeah, it didn't hit anything. And that should be game. We'll just make more mammoth tanks and send them at his base now. Alright, well, that's obviously game. There's no way he can beat two mammoth tanks. This is one of the issues with the mammoth tank deck. Is the, uh, your opponent's tech units can cause you problems. Because you are going to be a double harvester deck. So sometimes your opponent's tech is going to counter you. But very rarely, like Hammerhead plus Mammoth, it's pretty hard to be countered by. You are victorious. All right, second game with the Mammoth. I reckon Zarkos, pretty good player, a very league player, so uh, could be difficult. Double Harvester is not great on open water either. So basically we're looking to stall the pads until we can make it to the Mammoth Tank. He's gone wheels. We're going to go missiles to help us stall. We do need to get the second Harvester out as quickly as possible though. We're going to put the rifles on this pad to stall as well. Alright, let's get the second Harvester. I want to send it down here so it's easier to protect them both. And here we will do the swap to make sure he can't get another unit onto the pad and block unit our Harvester rest. from harvesting. Alright, so we're happy to chill as long as we're both on one pad. And I'll move here to block his wheels. Oh, he's also double Harvester. Okay, interesting. Flamers. Alright, we're going to go Drone Swarm for the Flamers. And there's some bikes. We'll get a Mohawk for the bikes. Pretty happy with the stalling still, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know what his tech is. It could be, or like his late game plan is. So we could be in trouble with this. But I think stalling still makes sense. Move, 
Alright, so we do have Mammoth Tank already. He has double Phantom on the field, so it's going to be difficult for him to defend against this Mammoth Tank. He spent a lot more money than we did. Looks like he's going to maybe try and base race. Spent a lot of money on Phantoms, so... I'm not sure what his double harvester is for. I'm gonna change target because that one's got boost. I was hoping I'd one shot it, but unfortunately the uh, the level difference on these tanks is making the mammoth struggle against scorpions because it's down three levels on them. So we're gonna support with missile troopers. As long as he has these phantoms, I'm pretty happy to be honest. Like, these phantoms are not doing a good job of uh, contesting the pads. As long as we keep making mammoth and uh, missiles, we should be good. I'm not really sure why he went double harvester. Maybe it was a misclick. Maybe he was planning to beat me in a war factory mirror by simply having more money. It's not clear. But it's definitely hurt him. And now we have a couple of mammoths out. It's pretty difficult for our opponent to, uh, to fight us. We have a ton of cash now. We're like literally on infinite cash. So we're going to go for the base kill. I actually want to try and avoid charging. It's a bit difficult not to charge pads on this map. But I think we've got him with the mammoth face rush. More mammoths! All right, mammoth tank. Mission accomplished. All right, control. Fred from Ascendance. I have a feeling this guy just plays like level 15 bikes and chuggy. Three, two, one. I'm actually going to open missiles in case he rushes us. Looks like we're not getting rushed. We'll go Harvester. Militants first, okay. So again, we just want to avoid charging. We want to try and make our second Harvester quickly. So we're going to move units onto pads to stall. But we're not going to look to fight. Checking if he's double Harvester. He is not. It is. There's the 15 Kuggy. I thought he had 15 Kuggy. And the 15 bikes. Okay, so I was right. He just chose not to rush me this game. We're going to need to go Mohawk to fight this chemical buggy. It's going to be difficult with the bikes being so much higher level than my Mohawk, but we'll give it a go. Here comes some lasers. So we're looking to stall the pad still. Alright, now we're just going to try and win the missile, I guess. If we win the missile with double harvester, it's it's so good for us. Oh wow, we took the missile. That's amazing, because now we have forever to get the mammoth tank out. Normally you're under a clock, because the mammoth tank has to win you the game um, on the second missile. But once you take the first missile, you, you, just, you save so much time. So we're not going to make any units here. We're just going to go straight into the mammoth. Even if he kills one harvester, it's not a big deal at this point because we already have the mammoth out. Oh, save the harvester! Ah, all right, it's not a big deal. So now we have the mammoth. We're gonna support it with missile troops again because of levels. The bikes are level 15. Uh, mammoth is actually not that good against bikes. Like normally, mammoth beats bikes simply by having so many hit points. But obviously, level 12 versus level 15, I don't have that many hit points extra. So we need to use the mammoth to kill the chemical buggy, whilst the missiles kill everything else. Basically, should have made another mammoth there. I didn't realize I already had the money for it. I think we're going to be okay though. Make another mammoth here. He's going to try and bike spam my mammoth to death. Looks like it's going to work. But we have a new Mammoth, luckily. Alright, we'll block him, and then we'll just take the two bottom pads. Alright, Mammoth Tank wins again. Good job, Mammoth Tank. Alright, 
Objective complete. Establishing battlefield control. Ah, Midnight Nation has joined Donate Global. Oh my. Okay. All right, Midnight Nation. Objective available. Harvester ready to collect. Building online. Unit ready. So again, we're going to go harvester into rifles and look to stall. Uh, Midnight Nation traditionally likes to play tech, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him going double harvester. So we actually want to hold our riflemen back a little bit here, because we want to stall the missile. Unit lost. So I'm gonna, when I make my next harvest, I'm gonna push in here because I want to deny him access to my harvester, basically. Oh, and again, we're just happy to stall. Obviously, this isn't uh, laser drones. Okay, that's pretty annoying. I have to go, uh, I basically have to make hammerhead to fight these things. I guess I can make missiles, but they're gonna be pretty slow. This would be a good place to have Talon instead of, um, instead, of mo instead of Drone Swarm, but Drone Swarm is what we got, so. Oh, I don't know why I boosted here, this was a mistake. There's no way I get there in time. So yeah, that was a waste of some Tiberium there. I'm gonna swap our Harvesters over in case this stealth tank kills my, um, kills my low hit point Harvester. And we'll go Mohawk for the chemical buggy. Mm, still a ways away from Mammoth Tank, unfortunately. This is one of the things that'll happen when you play a Mammoth Tank deck. Obviously your deck is weaker in the early game. Because you have less units. Because you have the Mammoth Tank taking up a unit slot. And you have a Harvester taking up a Pop Cap. So here comes the Mammoth. This needs to take over the game now. Which means I need to defend it from Laser Drones as well. There's an Obelisk. Uh, and my game is lagging. So that's not good. Probably going to lose because of this lag. Uh, no, it looks like we're okay. Oh no, there we go. There's the Laser Drone spam that I haven't been able to respond to. Okay, took the missile anyway. Feels good. Feels good, man. Oh, this harvester's not harvesting. I didn't see that because it happened when I was lagging. Okay, so we'll go Mammoth Tank again. This needs to kill the chemical buggy whilst the laser drones are killed by the missiles. At least that's the, that's the idea. The low level on the Mammoth Tank is obviously a big issue. We're going to kill the Obelisk with the Mammoth Tank. We need more missiles. We need more missiles and we need more... Uh, we need a Hammerhead, probably. But we also need another Mammoth Tank. We're a little bit pop-capped. I think we're going to move a Harvester to a pad now. Since the game's almost over. All right, we're going for all the pads. Hopefully we can take it in time. One miss on fire. All right, even with the lag, the Mammoth is victorious. Good job, Mammoth Tank deck. You are victorious. It's Gyro and playing Nod. I've never seen him play Nod. He almost always goes for GDI with snipers. This guy's a pretty good player. Um, I would be, I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if we lose this one. This guy's a strong player, and he's playing Jade. Jade is a very, very good counter to uh, to Mammoth Tank deck. Because you're almost always going to lose the first missile when trying to do Mammoth Tank, and then they'll just chem missile your base. We might even need to go one Harvester and play a one Harvester game for first missile, simply because losing the first missile against Jade is so, such a big cost. Rifleman, 
But, I mean, we are doing Mammoth Tank deck, so let's just do Mammoth Tank deck. Let's stick to the original strategy. If we lose, then we lose, and then you guys get to see what the deck is weak to, so that's okay as well. I haven't seen any chems yet, which is good. Basically just looking to protect our harvester and stall the missile. There's a chem buggy. We need to go Mohawk for that. Still just looking to stall. Alright, maybe we go for missile here. Because he's quite heavily pop capped on um, things that don't shoot up, we might be able to get the missile here. Okay. I can see where he's going with that plan. Kind of works, I guess. Alright, we took the missile. Amazing. I think that his use of the cat missile there probably wasn't that useful, honestly. Kind of blew up his own stuff as well, so it didn't really hurt me that much. Alright, so we have the Mammoth. Let's run over these laser troops. There's a tick tank for some reason. We can kill that while it's moving. Yeah, nice. And we'll go the Harvester now. Alright, so now we need to kill off these other units that we have that aren't Mammoth tanks. We get more Mammoth tanks. And he's disconnected. Alright, Mammoth wins again. Good job, Mammoth. I thought that was going to be a tough matchup. If he had Chem Warriors uh, and had used them in, to win the first missile, then it would have been very difficult to, to not die to a base rush from Chem Warriors. But luckily it was Chem Buggy and he made some questionable decisions. So Mammoth wins again. Mission accomplished. Establishing battlefield control. Three, two, okay. Four. New objective available. Slightly awkward map for the mammoth deck. Uh, the harvesters harvest, uh, need to move a long distance after they finish harvesting. And this lake makes it quite hard to defend your harvester well. Alright, so again, we're going to store the missile. Gonna go for a single missile squad here to fight these dogs, and then we'll go into a second harvester. But we're happy to just chill. He just chills as well. That's fine. I'm moving the rifleman up to get vision for here so we can see if he makes another harvester. Didn't see one. Oh, aggressive turret. I don't like that turret very much. I'm very easy to just walk away from it. I don't think he has vision of my. Actually, I think. I'm not sure if he saw my harvester or not. Now he definitely has. Snipers. Alright, so we got drones for the snipers. And we're still looking to stall. Now we get Mohawk for this pit bull. I'm gonna kill this turret before going on. You can never, like, you shouldn't leave turrets alone, you should always kill them. Because they have low hit points now, but they still do a lot of damage. Pretty happy to continue stalling. We're going to leave this missile squad on one hit point because I want him to be controlling this pad. Pretty close to Mammoth when we're still in first missile. That's great. Alright, here's the Mammoth. So once the Mammoth's out, we change tack. We just go hard on pad control. For some reason he walked off the pad, so that should be an easy missile. Made snipers to kill my Mammoth tank. Okay. I just don't know if he thinks he can snipe the pilot out or something, but that's really not how snipers work. Mammoth tank is well defended, my dude. Alright, harvester down. Run over his snipers, go for his base. Looks like he's conceded. Good job, mammoth tank. Another victory for the mammoth. That turret I'm not going to kill. That one I think we can ignore. Mammoth 
All right, mama tank fight. Objective complete. Establishing battlefield control. All right, it's blitz from Tiberium Coast. Let's see if we can go for a clean sweep with the mammoth. Three, two, one. New objective received. We've got harvester and put it in the back. Building this is quite a good map for tech because uh, it's difficult to harass the harvesters and charge pads. All right, so we're going to keep chilling. He's uh, he's trying to do the dance to stop us from charge to keep charging, and we're trying to avoid it. All right, he's made a second rifle. We'll make a second rifle so he can't push us. I think he's gonna go. He's gonna go on two pads now, so we're gonna push him and make second harvester. Bikes immediately. Okay, we're gonna try and block the bikes. And go missiles. Ah, that's annoying. All right, no big deal. Let's get the missiles. Let's get some rifles to stop him charging. Hopefully, we need to go air tower and drones here. I need some more drones. I don't think we're going to be able to stall this though. Not looking good. Yeah, we can't kill the stuff in time, so we don't stall the missile at all. Blitz is playing pretty much exactly how you're supposed to play against Double Harvester. He's fired the first missile as quickly as possible. And he's made, a, he's made some units to pressure my Harvesters, so I'm forced to respond. This is how you're supposed to play against Double Harvester. And he's continuing to charge, so I'm going to go and remove his unit that's charging. And then step off the pad to buy myself some more time. Banshee is also really bad for me because it means that if I go into the Mammoth, I need to immediately make an answer to the Banshee as well. We are going to go Mammoth still because that's our win condition. But then I'm going to need to support the Mammoth with um, with Missile Troopers. But he's making bikes because bikes are actually pretty good against Mammoth. But he should be he should be harassing the Mammoth with the Banshee at the same time. That's where the misplay was. He made, he made a small misplay there. He could have been harassing with the Banshee at the same time. And then I would have struggled with this missile. Alright, Mammoth hype. We're taking the second missile. We have two Mammoths. At this point we're in really good shape, obviously. Now we go and harass his Harvesters. Once you have the advantage with the Mammoths, it's good to shut down your opponent's economy. Because it's very difficult for them to get back into the game if they don't have enough money. Make a third Mammoth. Go for his base. Like I said, this is a pretty good tech map. He did what, you, he did what you're supposed to do against Double Harvester, but unfortunately it was not enough against the mighty Mammoth Tank. And Mammoth Tank destroys the base. Alright, clean sweep for the Mammoth Tank. So... If you want to try Mammoth Tank, uh, I would recommend this build. I think this is an excellent build for Mammoth Tank. Um, I would rate this as like a tier 2 deck probably. Tier 2, tier 1.5. Um, the deck is good, but it's not like an exceptional deck because it's going to be very weak on some maps. All tech decks are going to be weak on certain maps. Like maps where two harvesters are bad, this deck is going to be terrible. Um, but it's a very strong deck on good two harvester maps. It's a very strong deck to counter specific enemy strategies. Um, it's very good in tech mirrors because the mammoth tends to win almost every tech mirror. Uh, but it's not going to be as good on as like a consistent ladder deck because sometimes you're going to get bad maps for it. And sometimes your opponent's tech will hard counter you. Um, if you run into someone playing, like for example, the guy playing Titans, his Titans were too low level, but Titan can be a real problem for this deck. And uh, things like Basilisk with Phantom support, stuff like that. You're basically, you're all in on the Mammoth Tank. So if the Mammoth Tank doesn't win you the game immediately, you tend to lose the game. All right. And with that, that is my Mammoth Spotlight video. Hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.